Hi YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of the Sims 4 Joy of Life Challenge. We are back in today's episode and we are finally, finally getting around to doing the grand opening of the bakery. We have been long awaiting this day, okay? It has been going on literally for, I think I said I wanted to do the grand opening like 10, 15 episodes ago. So it's a long awaited thing, but I'm very excited it's finally happening. But you might also notice some messages right over here. And these are from my friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream this live. The link will be in the description of this video if you guys want to go ahead and follow me over there. That is where I watch, uh, that is where I stream all of these series live. And obviously you can follow me, um, come and join the series live. They're really fun. Everybody's really kind and nice. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Right, so we have our baby here. As you can see, she is dressed in black. They just come home from the funeral in the previous episode. So everyone's still wearing their uh, black uh, Sunday best outfits. Um, in fact, Neve is on her way home right now um, because she is just out by the waterfall. I actually sent her to the bakery to like double check it. So that's probably why. Uh, Princess Fiji, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so, guys, the only person that I have given a makeover to, uh, to so far, because the idea is that we're gonna, in the first part of this stream, do a little makeover on the twins, because they aged up, they're now 19 years old, so they're officially young adults in game, so we need to go ahead and, like, you know, give them a little makeover to suit their ages. Happy 28 months, Lauren. Marula, thank you so much. 28 months. That is crazy. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Marula with 28 freaking months? That is crazy. Thank you for so long. I appreciate you. <laughs> and Bugs, uh, Bug Spectre, I think, with the Prime sub as well. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, so Reese. Um, so I gave him a little makeover. Um, so I've done it already because I was just sitting and playing around. I wanted to get a like, good idea of what I wanted to do for him. And then I committed too much. So I was like, right, I'm just gonna save it. Um, and then that's why I'm not doing it on screen. So here is Reese, guys. Oh, hey, hun, how are you doing? Still can't believe I've been here in the lolly fam on Twitch. It's defo been longer when you started out. On <gasps> Sick! I'm gonna be here for the long haul. And Aww, I, your better I love you. And I love you in the lolly fam so much. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you, Tiff. I love you and appreciate you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Tiff? I'll come right back to it in a second, Tiff. Hold on, let me, um, let me, let me just address this uh, absolute hunk that's just sitting right in front of us. So, guys, here is our foin, foin, foin looking Reese. He is a, yeah, he's a baddie. No, I, I didn't put him in undies on purpose, okay? Like I just, I just stripped him for his makeover. That was all. So yeah, here's what he's looking like. I gave him a full makeover. I also gave him a new hair as well. I know we cut his hair in the previous episode, but let's just say that maybe a little bit of time is skipped, you know, not a lot, but maybe a little bit. And that's the reason that his hair's grown out. Let's just make it make sense. Um, so that's why his hair's a little bit longer. Also, we did say that we were thinking of cutting his hair, but we didn't know if it was gonna stay. Then I tried this hair on him, literally fell in love and it's just set in stone. So now it's staying. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go and finish up the makeovers that I was in the middle of doing. In fact, is my, yeah, I was gonna say, for some reason my MX Aero turned off. I was like, everyone's missing shadows. Um, yeah, let's go and um, do some makeovers. Yes, actually, when I posted the picture of him in Discord, everyone said he looked like Conrad from the summer I turned pretty. And uh, as soon as someone said that, I couldn't unsee it. Like it was just, <laughs> it was just like set in stone that I could see it for him now. Um, Jylene, thank you so much for the Prime sub as well. Thank you, thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the, uh, the love in chat for Jylene? And also, can we get some love in chat for Tiff for her sub earlier? Tiff is also one of our incredible, amazing mods and keeps all of you riffraff in chat um, sorted. So if we could get some love in the chat for Tiff as well, please guys, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so here is what Reese is looking like for his close up. Guys, what is our level of shrimp? Like uh, if, if we had a level out of 10 for shrimping, what level do we give this shrimp? You know, is it like, is it like a four out of 10 shrimping? Is it like a 10 out of 10 shrimping? How, how are we feeling about this? I need, I need a value. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 10,000, 11. Oh, okay, so we're, we're majorly on the shrimp scale. Oh, okay. Sarah's going for 8.75. I like that. Reasonable shrimp value. <laughs> Wait, I'm wondering if I can turn my, my cast version on so we get a little bit more shadows because I quite like doing that when I do my cast stuff. 
<laughs> nine point five for me. So we are all enjoying the new version of Reese. Um, his his adult version, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with his outfits. Um, and give him a little give him a little makeover and see what we can do here. So. Has anyone got any idea of styles that we think will suit him? I'm actually going to go ahead and delete all of the rest of his outfits. So this is what he used to wear as a teenager. Um, but obviously his style might have changed. We went for quite cool boy, but also like, you know, um, like cargoes and like floppy shirts. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't even know what you would describe this style as. Like, I'm, I literally have no idea. But this is what he wore uh, growing up quite a lot. So I don't know if we could we should stick with the similar style or if we should go with something different for him. Yeah, I mean, he does do art. He's very, very into his art stuff. So I don't know how much we should delve into that. Shrimps. <gasps> Smiler, thank you so much. 19 shrimps. Damn, that is that is a 19 out of 10 shrimps. That's a lot. <laughs> thank you so much, sweetie. Um, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Smiler as well, please? Um, Very hipster, maybe more summery vibes. Casual streetwear, it looks like to me. I'm wondering where we should... Because it doesn't... Just because he had a style when he was a teenager doesn't mean we have to stick to it. It might mean that maybe we just try on some like outfits on him and see like Look how we Conrad feel. Style from the summer I turn pretty since he looks like him maybe. Thoughtful face. I mean, I don't I can't even remember what Conrad wore. Oh, I just realized I'm using the wrong thing. I'm just fine or whatever. Um the summer I turned pretty and we need Conrad. Conrad. Um Okay, so Conrad literally was always wearing like basics that j yes actually that jacob alordi wasn't that the guy um out of um euphoria right jacob alordi that was oh i can't remember what his character's name was though the really toxic one <laughs> if that makes sense yeah this is what conrad wears he wears really like basic outfits like just like a t-shirt and like cargo shorts don't know if i'm seeing that for him I don't, I'm not sure. What about a leather jacket? Should we try a leather jacket? We can see how we feel about it. Let's try. Um, okay, we do have some jackets. We also do need to bear in mind, they still currently live in um, Italy, you know, or like Totosa, AKA Italy. So it's gonna be quite hot. So I can't imagine that they'll be wearing jackets all the time, especially since right now it's peak summer. So it's probably really hot. So I think anything that we go for, We'll have to go for like a, yeah, like a cooler vibes. Um, Emma, thank you so much for 33 months. Oh my God, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around for so long. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Emma as well, please? Um, oh wait, hold on, I missed a message. I was inspired to start my own Joy of Life gameplay and this is the most I've played the game in forever. <gasps> Erin, I'm so glad you're back. How are you enjoying Joy of Life though? Are you, are you enjoying it? Light um, academia vibes. Um, let's have a look at what we feel. I mean, that's not bad, actually. I don't mind that too much either. How do we feel about something like that? That's quite cute on him. Mm, I feel like this does work, like artsy sort of style. Where is the Discord? Did she post him? I can't find it. Um, I posted him in the Sims section. The stripes work. Yeah, we like that. Oh, wait, we did say we were going to try like a leather jacket on him, didn't we? Ooh. I know we said we were going to stay away from the jackets, but that, that does kind of look pretty cool on him. It's just me who thinks that looks really cool on him. Like any of these, to be honest, I'm kind of I think I'm kind of leaning towards the brown. I don't know if it's leather though. I can't really tell by the texture of it. Is it leather? Do you think? It might be. I'm not sure. What about that with some like black? What are we thinking? Like, mm, no. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It is a lot of layers for Italy though, don't you think? I mean, maybe people in Italy, I mean, anybody who lives in a hot country, do you get used to it being so hot all the time that like you end up wearing more layers? How does this work? Because I literally live in a country that is never really hot.
He looks good in all of them. I know. This is why I'm having an issue deciding on the style for him because he literally, he works in everything. It's really difficult. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when it, when a sim suits all styles so then you can never decide on what you want to do? That really bothers me. It does get cold in winter. No, I know, but I mean, right now it's um, peak summer. So the likelihood of him like wearing this, like, is he gonna get hot? I feel like he'd get hot. Mm. I don't know, how do, we, how do we feel about this guys? What about that with, he was always wearing like these shoes as well. And I'm also gonna make his feet a little bit bigger since he's a bit older. Jackets, I don't think so, but sweaters, yes. Oh, I really like this top on him though. But maybe that would be good for cold weather wear. Maybe we, maybe we do something different for his hot weather wear. What about... Yeah, it does look good. I mean, we can just copy this outfit over to his cold weather wear and then that'll work. Jean shorts, maybe? Mm, okay, hold on. Let me try some jean shorts. We'll get them little little legs out. Um, where are the jean shorts? We've got things like these. I mean, those could work. I don't know about it with the jacket though. I'm Italian and we wear leather jackets for spring. We wear it in summer, usually in the evening or night when it is a uh, chill. Okay, so you would so you would wear an outfit like that, but it would have to be like evening. So maybe we could keep him. And then, then he can still wear it. <laughs> we could give him like alternative outfits too, I think. But let me, let me put the trousers back on him. There we go. We can leave him in that. Someone said that they think he really would suit Vans. You think he was like a Vans boy -o? So I'm thinking maybe we do Vla Vans in black and white, which actually I'm, I'm kind of a fan of that too. There's a cold front coming, <laughs> just so we have an excuse for him to wear it. I quite like that. Oh, someone was saying that maybe we give him an eyebrow piercing. What's the thoughts on that one? What's the thoughts on an eyebrow piercing? Um, if we did it, we'd do like the ring, probably that side, but it's going to be a bit difficult to see because of the way his hair's like positioned. Um, that one looks too big though. It makes him hotter than he is. <laughs> oh, should we give him a, um, should, why have I not got these ones installed? Oh no, I've got that. Oh, okay. But it doesn't, it doesn't fit his eyebrow well. You think maybe nose? I mean, they don't fit his nose. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not really fitting. I mean, we could go with that, but we would have to re-angle his eyebrows for that to work. We've got, he's got big juicy lips and again, it doesn't work. Okay, most of the piercings are not gonna work for him, guys. You think rose rose gold is his color? We could still go with the eyebrow piercing. I mean, if we're a fan of the rose gold, we can keep it. And then um, I can just pull his eyebrow up a little, just so it's like in there. There we go. What do we think of that? I just see Conrad and Enzo. They're honestly like a crazy mix of both of them, right? I see it too. I don't know. I kind of like the silver for him, to be honest. It shows up nicely yeah we like it we just have to like angle his eyebrows up a bit but that's that's fine i think that works yes if a creator makes us a piercing slider yeah i would be all for that too um seven deadly sins thank you for the follow and zen zenithosaurus rex i think i got that right thank you so much for the tier one as well um guys can we get some love in the chat for zenith as well thank you so much for the tier one um the silver and the rose gold silver looks good he looks so dreamy oh we should go with a um a necklace i think i think we should get him a cool necklace oh that okay that's kind of cool i do quite like that too 
That one's nice. Maybe like that. What do we think? Are we fans? I might even give him a hat, you know, say like it's sunny or something. I mean, we did say that this was going to be his like evening wear outfit, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm committed to it now. Maybe we go with a hat too. Oh, that kind of pulls his hair down a bit much. Maybe. Mm. What's our thoughts, guys? Do we like with the hat or not? I never really give my Sims hats, so I kind of want to give a Sim a hat. Not like that. Maybe a beanie. Oh, but now we're really committing to like, it's quite hot. Oh, I could go with, oh, damn it. I was going to give him those with the sunglasses on the top, but they mess with his eyelashes. <laughs> nah, okay, well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Okay, we've got that for now. Um, for his nails, um, I think I'm just going to give him some natural nails. Um, we'll go with, uh, what would be his shade? Probably, probably that one. Just some natural nails. Hi, Adia. Welcome in. How are you? Hi, Melanie. Maybe a chain. I went with a chain and another one, like a, like a layered, um, a layered necklace. What do you guys think? He's so damn fine to point. He's a modern Hercules. Oh, I'm glad you like him. I love him too. <laughs> okay, I think we are good for him. We're not going to fit anything else but like rings, which actually I do kind of see him wearing a ring. Let me let me see what rings we've got for our guys. Also one that doesn't clip with his eyelashes because that is not hot. Um, Let's go with maybe those. Maybe we go with these ones and we'll do them in silver as well. Guys, what's the thoughts on these rings? Hold on, let me have him bring them in front. What do we think? Some layered rings. Hi, Viola T. Welcome in as well. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, guys, I'm just realizing the game's probably lagging slightly for you guys because I had the wrong screen on. Reese came here to slay. <laughs> Reese knows the importance of for the aesthetics. <laughs> Honestly, I can just imagine him sweating his like guts out because he he wants to go for the look instead of like practicality. And I can just see him getting so hot in this outfit. Um. Okay, really quick. I'm just going to come out and save what we've done and then copy over all of his like details to all of his other outfits just so he looks the same in everything. Lauren, I've sent you a picture on Discord of my joy of life baby daddy, which I'll think you appreciate for you to look at later. Babes, are you going to make me blush? <laughs> Hi, Esmis. Welcome in. How are you doing? He gained so much character. He has. He's gained a lot of character, I think. Oh, where are we? There we go. Okay. Oh, he's looking grungy, guys. Oh, he is. He is looking great. Okay, hold on. Let me just copy over all of these. So paste hair, paste body hair, paste makeup, and paste his accessories over. Here we go. Even I have to have to admit he's fine. <laughs> I can smell the tattoo appointments coming. Oh, I have got that mod where I can send my Sims off for a tattoo, one. right? Or did we delete that? Does anyone remember? You remember when we did my mods clean out? We would, I had that mod installed where my Sims can go off and get tattoos and they can go on dates. I don't remember if I still have it installed. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, okay, let's do a second outfit as well. Let's do um one that's more suited towards summer like something that he's not going to get as hot in so what sort of vibes are we thinking for this one maybe we could maybe just go with like a nice loose top we did say maybe we're going for that conrad look i mean i quite like this, the color of that maybe something like this I think you kept it. Okay, that's good. Well, we can have a look and we can take him and, and get a tattoo. His first tattoo would be really cool. Let's do. Oh, so I love you so much. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the four months. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Let's shoot for four months and Batch Site as well with the Prime sub? Thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome in as well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, wow, that is, um, yeah, that's not really what I had in mind for him, actually. <laughs> um, what would we have him wear with this? Mm, not that, I don't think. Actually, I do kind of like the jeans. 
I do kind of like the jeans. Should we find, some, do you think we should find a top to go with these jeans? Because I feel like these could really work. Not that though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're, they're a nice style of jean for him. Mm. Ooh. That's quite nice. <laughs> Sam, Sam, thank you so much for the prime sub as well. Welcome in. Thank you for the sub. And a casual, like, overlayered shirt. We... Why is his shoulder clipping through this? That's so annoying. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's quite nice. That's that's quite good. That is that is nice. <laughs> oh yeah, his favorite colors are black and white, aren't they? We should add some more some more of his favorite colors in. Mm, I mean, that's a layered shirt, but that's probably going to get too hot. We're going for like the outfit that he could wear if it is hot. So, what about that would be great if that top reached his jeans, but that that ain't it, if not. You think just a white shirt or like a white top? Oh, we do have some of these. Not that. These are sweaters. What about... No, no, no. I'm, Lauren, I'm begging you. Can you give him a man bun for one of his outfits? Yes, we can. We can do that. Oh, what about a top with like a graphic on it? We could go with maybe like one of these ones. I know it's like kind of gothic, but I, I don't mind it too much for him, to be honest. I think it kind of suits his style. Do, should we go with the man bun for this outfit? I pull it up. What um hair could work for a man bun? When we talk about man bun, do we mean like that, or do we mean like put fully like in a man bun? How how man bunish are we speaking? Yes, yeah, I like that. He could be supporting artists. That's kind of cool as well. Um, are there any of these man buns? I don't think so. I like the half up, half down. Let me try. Yeah, not that. It's not the right tone or the same like color as his hair. That pulled back too much. No. I like the half up, half down. We'll go back to it if we don't find another one to replace it. Um. Nope, nope, nope. There's got to be one that Johnny Sims makes because they literally make something of everything. I mean, that works as well. Pull back. That's a half up, half down, but it's mainly pulled back. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> that was glitchy. Um. Okay. Next. Have we got any other man buns? Hmm. Oh, I thought that one was a man bun, but it isn't. But that one does work too. Ooh, he does look good with this hair. <laughs> um, Sarah, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome in as well. Thank you, thank you. Guys, could we get some love in the chat for Sarah as well, please? Um, hmm. I think we might go for that one that I gave him earlier. You know, the half up, half down one. Oh, that one is a man bun, but not, not really what we had in mind. Um, okay, yeah, let's go for... Oh, that one's a man bun. Um, okay, that's another option as well. So that one would be like a fully up man bun. Or we've got the half up, half down man bun. Which one do we vote for? And also, I don't know if I'm feeling this top. I think we might change it. <laughs> this man... <laughs> I like both. We could do both. We could use the other one on another outfit too. It's so hard to decide. This one? Okay, I think most people are going for this one. We'll, we'll stick with this one then. Um, for his top, I did want to change it. Um, and go with... Hmm. Let's go for... 
oh he does look good in that outfit as well <laughs> let's go with maybe more yeah maybe more of a baggy top can we have it with a something on it though the flash no 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 <laughs> is it possible that i can get one of him irl thank you um i will uh see if i can find one and ship it over to you so <laughs> Oh, maybe that one works. Maybe this in white. Okay, what do we... Oh, that's kind of... That's kind of cool too. This is also quite cool. That's quite nice. I wonder if we have it in any other colours. This is nice. Maybe, maybe for a party wear though. This will be better. I do like this one. <laughs> maybe we just go for the casual for this outfit. Like that. We just call it a day. <laughs> is it just me or is it kind of giving Lucian? No, I completely see what you mean. I do. I, I see it too. Oh, should we give him uh, an earring? um, Like a ear piercing? Or just should we just do the eye uh, eyebrow piercing? I could do like one side. Um, oh, also, maybe I give him some veins. Where are my vein overlays? Are they in here? Pretty sure I still have them. I think they might be in tattoos, though. <laughs> Let the arms out. Here comes the shrimp brigade. I see it. <laughs> oh, no. Have I not got my veins installed? I really like adding that on my guys. But we'll come back to tattoos because I think I actually want to send him off to a tattoo parlor to get this tattoo done. So we'll come back to those. It's fine. Is there a scar overlay? Like a body scar? I didn't see mine in here, but I don't know what these are. Oh, these are like chest overlays. They're not going to work. Did you say veins? Yes, I did, Sophia. <laughs> okay, right. Let's call it a day for that outfit. Let's go with this formal outfit. Um, So, we will keep... Let's keep the all black suit for him. We will keep the all brown suit for him as well. And the rest will start again. And really quick, I'm just going to um get rid of his necklace for these outfits as well. When do you think they'll move out? Probably after the family holiday. So in the next stream on Sunday, they're going to go and do a family holiday together. And then after that, I would say um, we can move them out. <laughs> Leather jacket with a tie, please. Oh, there was an outfit like that, wasn't there? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Oh, we do have something like that. That's more of a... Maybe that's too, like, upper class. Um, hmm. That's kind of cool too, though. That's kind of stylish. Why do I really like that? Does anyone else really like this outfit? I think that's really cool. Maybe that with, with a different necklace, though. And then... Uh, <laughs> let's go with that one. Like that. All for party wear. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe actually. Okay, let me save it here. We can add it as a neck a second party wear. Let me do another outfit. It is artsy. Yeah, I I agree. It is more of a party outfit. Um, so this one's supposed to be more formal. That one's quite nice. Maybe do we do it in a colour? Is this nice or not? Is it too much for him? I feel like he's, he wears a lot of loose clothes. Mm. It's quite nice. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> just like, just choking. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, okay. Um, maybe that. That works. What's our feelings on this one, guys? 
this little number. Don't worry, we're all joking right now. <laughs> Guys, watch this piece Sarah. Um, I was wondering if the CC you're using is linked by any chance on your CC finds or on Tumblr or in videos because I'm loving the fit. Um, I do actually, I do link quite a lot of my CC to my CC finds. Um, so anything that I find on Tumblr, I link there. But for the rest of my CC, I normally just scroll through um, the sim, uh, sim finds on, uh, well, sim finds is its own, like, you know, uh, page. And then um, download a lot of the CC from there. So a lot of it will be also be from there too. Maybe with the jacket. Well, the other outfits have got jackets on. So I felt like this one is like the non-jacket version. You know, like this is if he pulls the jacket off. This is going to be his party wear. So we'll leave that one. For athletic wear, let's go ahead and pull his hair back to that man bun moment. In fact, we'll do the half up, half down one for the man bun um, for when he's exercising. Lauren, are you shrimping? I mean, wolf. I'm not blind. <laughs> He's an artist, right? Maybe move the one left to the right one. I'm Vicky. Wait, do you mean in the formal wear outfits? I'm not sure what you meant. Oh, Sim Finds is a dangerous place. It really is. Um, I could download way too much CC from that place. <laughs> yeah, it's a slight addiction. Um, hmm. What do we go for for his athletic wear? Um, honestly, I don't see him working out that often. Maybe like, maybe he does it every now and then, but I don't see him as like an avid, you know, like exerciser. <laughs> Free the arms. Okay. What about, what about something like that? And then we'll get it in that. That works actually. I don't even mind this outfit. That does work. What do we think? And then also take the rings off because... No one's exercising all those rings. Oh, and uh, a watch as well. Let's go for... Um, maybe like an Apple Watch. Yeah, I kind of like the Apple Watch with the black strap. <laughs> compression shirt. Oh, we want an extra... Okay, fine. I'll find a compression shirt. Fine. <laughs> What about, uh, these are not really compression shirts. I mean, that one is, but I don't know how I feel about this one. Mm, what do we think? Is this one okay or not? A different one. Did the children age up? They did in the stream before the last one. So in the last stream, we did the funeral. The stream before that is when we did the, the kids makeovers. This one's good. Yeah. Okay, right. That'll work. We'll leave him. We'll leave him in this one. Um. Okay, sleep well. Let's go for... I think maybe just some pants will do. I know, I know. He looks good in everything, so it's kind of difficult to pick, like, anything for him. Um, Maybe these in black, like that. And maybe an option with... Why do I also want something like this? <laughs> what options have we got these in? I also kind of like him in these too. Does that... How do we feel about this, guys? Why is this also a, a little look? <laughs> <laughs> am i married yes am i willing to risk everything for a sim also yes <laughs> looks so good oh i'm glad you like him simply the slippers are adorable yeah i like them but i'm also gonna give him like another i'll give him the same outfit but without the slippers and then um then we go for some long sort of trousers um let's go for could go for something like this, maybe. Um, or maybe... They're fine too. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> is he a young adult now? He is. He's officially um 17. 
Actually, I think this crater has like a full new set that they just released. Hold on, let me just have a look. Do they have a top for the guys? Um, Like that, I think, like with a robe. Okay, what's our thoughts, guys? We could go with it, with it, something like this. <laughs> These are kind of nice too. Wait, what did I say? You mean 19? What did I say? I swear I said 19, did I not? 17? Did I say 17? Ew, no, 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 not the 17's ill, but we, we cannot be talking about him like this if he's 17. No, he's 19. I promise you all, he's very much 19. It's fine, everything's fine, guys. <laughs> I was like, go, let me just let me just take everything back. <laughs> oh, I love that. I kind of like the open robe. Yeah, we'll stick with the open robe. That one's nice. <laughs> oh no, not me saying 17 and us thinking we're actually gonna go get rested. Oh god. <laughs> Does anyone know which skin overlay he has on? I can check for you. Um, he has two on, I think. I think his skin overlay that I'm using actually for his face, like his face overlay, is Northern Siberia Winds. Um, hold on, let me look at... Uh, Noah, Noah Face Mask. That's the name of this face mask that I'm using on him. And then I also am using a body mask on him as well. And that one is the West Skin Body Mask. Um, this one. <laughs> yeah, we're enjoying the sleepwear, huh? <laughs> um, also, I'm going to give him this with slippers and without, of course. There we go. Okay, we gave him a few different outfits. Um, so he can wear either of those. Party wear. Um, this is what he currently has on, which I want to give him different outfits. So we said we liked this outfit for his party wear. Let me just copy it over a second. Hold on. No, no, no. He's out. He's out of high school. We're actually looking to, to decide if we want to send the kids to. Oh, sorry. Um, we want to see if we want to send them to college. Um, I don't even know if they want to go. To be honest, though, I was kind of surprised. But both of them got the want that they want to go traveling. Like they want to go on adventures and go skiing and like travel the world. So I was thinking that we were, they were going to go away, but they actually want to travel instead. Um, so that might be something that we look into for them as well. Okay, so we're looking for this outfit. I want to copy this outfit and then paste it onto his party wear. Um, and then we can use it. Paste outfit. Please tell me you'll be uploading this fam soon because we all want a bit Lucian and Reese in our lives. <laughs> Reese, thank you. Hold I will, hands. I will, Tiff. As soon as I move on from generation one, which will actually be, guys, can you believe this? We are officially nearly done with generation one of the challenge. I'm pretty sure the only thing we've got left to do is for Neve to complete the baking skill. I'm pretty sure that is the only goal left to do. And she is level nine, 29% complete. So we might even finish the challenge technically in today's episode. So uh, we might be moving on to generation two of this series very, very soon. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. Yeah, only like 35 episodes later. But to be fair, we've like, we've played it out nice and slow. We've had a lot of like story development for everyone. So I'm quite enjoying it. Like going off, you know, slow. <laughs> Hi, Cody. Welcome back. How are you? <laughs> um, All right. So party wear um, for him. I'm also just going to give him one more outfit. Maybe just like a top, um, like a change in top. Some people were saying maybe go for the leather jacket look, which... I've also not got a problem with. I know. I can't believe we've come so far. We've done so well. <laughs> um, When do Ginger and Reese age up? They age up on Sunday. Or sorry, Saturday, I think, of this Sims week. So um, we are going to be going on holiday in the next episode. And I think we might be away for the kids' birthdays, um, which will be really cool. Ooh. I mean... This might be a little too, like, dressed for him. Um, maybe something a little bit looser. Hmm. 
that's also nice too. <laughs> Going slow allowed you to really flesh out all the kids in the family, so it really was worth it. I'm definitely glad we went for the slower approach instead of like rush through, try and finish up with generation one and then move straight on to gen two because we wouldn't have got a chance to like, you know, play with all the kids and like, get, yeah, get an idea of like the personalities as well. I think for the future generations, I'll try to do that too. I think that'll be something that we we keep up if we can. Um, ooh. Why do I kind of like that? Does anyone else kind of like this? This with with uh, his um, piercings in. Uh, hmm. These Sims walking off runways of folk. <laughs> to be fair, the family is also very rich. So I do kind of imagine that they'd have a kind of expensive style, you know? That no low neckline. I already know all of you are going to like lose your minds. <laughs> I love that. Okay, fingernails. We've got these ones that we have. Yeah, we can do the half up, half down for this for this outfit. We can swap it to that one. Oh, you were right. That was a good call. That was a really good call. I feel like that hair really goes well with this outfit too. <laughs> I don't even think I have any nipple piercing um, like CC installed. Does anyone have that for guys? I don't think I even have that. Is he going to uni? I'm not sure. I we was all thinking that we was gonna send the kids to uni, and I'm sure that the I'm sure that Neve and Emiliano would really want them to. But both of the kids both have the want to go traveling. So now I'm kind of like, well, you know, how's this gonna work? <laughs> nipple piercing. I do, I do see him having nipple piercings actually. Oh, speaking of, for his sleepwear, for his top, I need to give him the lean overlay. Um, where is that? Lean. And then that way he has more muscle definition on his body. And the same for this one. Um, and then that, he has that one on. And that was the same. There we go. Is there a mod for the Sims, for the Sims to choose if they want to go to uni or travel, etc.? So I've got a mod installed where Sims can randomly get like wants. I, I, don't, I don't know what the mod's called. It's by AD Pindigo. I'll have a look into the actual name of it. But basically Sims can get wants of something that they want to do in their life. And both of the kids, as soon as they aged up to young adults, they got the like expression that they want to go traveling, which to me makes it seem like if they do go to uni, at least before they would like to go traveling. So... Yeah, I have a feeling. Yep, Errant Mods by AD Pindigo. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, yeah, that's what the name of the mod is called. And yeah, I, I do. I see that for, for both of them. I mean, if, if that's something that they want to do, then um, it's not like we don't have the funds to do it for them. So I think we'll just... Yeah, I think we'll do that since that's something they want. Oh, that one was cute. <laughs> I love sending my Sims to uni, but oh my God, why does it have to cost their whole young adulthood? So I actually customize my Sims young adulthood to be a lot longer than normal, only because to me that takes too long. You know, like most of the time you send your Sims off and it takes ages. So yeah, I've got that changed so that it doesn't take as long. Um, Let's go for some more neutrals for him. And I'm also gonna take off his rings when he swims as well. Oh, didn't we say that we found this really good, like, wet hairstyle that we could give to our guys? Do you remember when we was cleaning out my CC and we said, oh, don't delete this hair because we could give it to Sims when they've got wet hair. Did I delete it? Because I remember we were like, should I get rid of it? Should I not? I can't remember. Was it like that? Oh, no, that's like Lancelot. <laughs> um, simplistic Sims, thank you for the follow. Welcome in as well. Imagine Reese the type to travel and make weird Sona friends from different countries. I do kind of see him like traveling to a lot of different places as well. Oh, that was the wet hair version. Do I give him that? Do I give him this hair, the, the wet sort of hairstyle? It also does kind of make sense for him since your hair gets slightly longer when it's wet. So I don't know, I kind of want to keep it for him. What do we think? Is this, is this gonna work or not? I might give him another outfit as if his hair is dry, like his original hair. Actually, I might give him the one where it's pulled up. <laughs> so this is like if he's like actively swimming and then this is the non-actively swimming, but I'm thinking some sunglasses with this one. Um, 
And then we go for maybe, so we did them darker. Oh, also guys, hold on, I need to check my phone just to make sure I'm not gonna miss my boyfriend coming into the train station. Um. Okay, let me know the exact time, please. Oh, guys, um, did I tell you at the start of this week that my, my new car turned up? Oh my God, it's been a dream. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was saying how I've been sharing a car with my dad for the last like three months. And um, there was a mess up with my old car. So the lease on it ended before it should have. So it got taken back. So I was left with no car. Um, which has been an absolute stress, especially considering I always like like travel and take people everywhere. But it finally turned up and I love it. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have a car and be able to like leave the house again. <laughs> mm. I don't know about these glasses, guys. Oh, I don't know about these. You know, none of them are really giving like sunglasses. Maybe, maybe aviators. Oh, yes. Okay, something like that in silver, I think. Darker silver? Yeah. Okay, that works. That that works. That works. Are we still going to get the bakery? Yeah, yeah, we are. Don't worry. We're still, we're still going to do the bakery bit. Oh, I just realized we've still got Charlotte's. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, we need to pick up the pace. Okay, guys? We need to pick up the pace. <laughs> right, a hot weather wheel. Um, I actually don't mind this outfit. I think no matter what, I do want to change to some different sandals. Um, we would definitely go with some black sandals, but I think maybe we keep those jean shorts and swap the top to something else. Maybe we go with like a white top or something. I know, I know we've still got Charlotte to do. I'm like, oh, la 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 la. Just enjoying myself, making Reese look really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> um maybe these but with less baggy shorts fan self i'm gonna need to take a cold shower <laughs> nymph <laughs> um did we go with like ripped jeans uh, probably not uh maybe something like that for him i think that works Hi Alexis, welcome in. I just joined. We're currently in the middle of giving um, Reese a makeover since they just aged up in the last episode. So they're very much in need of a makeover, um, especially since they just turned 19. So it's a pretty good time. Um, I think I'm going to swap to these uh, shorts instead. I think we're going to go for them in this grey sort of colour. I think that works. Who is your heir? My heir is actually Ginger. She's aging up in the in the next episode, I think, into a teenager. Um, but here is what she looks like new car right now. You here she is, little baby. <laughs> also, I yes, it's so much better. Him and Charlotte taking a gap year before going to uni so they can use. Yes, I think that'd be good. They want in that time. Yeah. Do you think we should do a poll for that? What do you guys think? Should we do a poll to decide if we should send the kids traveling for a gap year? And then maybe afterwards they can go to uni. I mean, maybe if it wants change, we cannot, you know, but like, it depends on what they want to do. If they want to go straight into work, they can. Um, but yeah, we can have a look into it. Oh, maybe this one, we go with the hats as well. I, I've been really trying to get this hat thing to work, haven't I? So maybe this is their outfit with the hat. Um, let's go for... Um, yeah, that. Okay, that works. That works. <laughs> Girls, Reese turned up to something else. Oh my God. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> um, Where'd you get all your mouse CC? I've done a few videos on it in the past, but if you want to link to any of my CC, um, I've done some videos. If you type in exclamation mark CC, um, it will give you a link to my playlist where I, you know, made loads of YouTube videos on that. Um, okay, let's go for a cold weather wear outfit. Um, yeah, let's start again for these outfits. Hi, Lindsay, welcome in. I think the message about to be read in a second, hold on. <laughs> um, oh, I'm glad.
glad you like him, Alexis. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. I don't get Hi. to watch streams often, but I found Aww. you through your Legacy series not too long, and you have become my favorite Sims player. Thank I just you. love your personality. Oh, you're so Hope sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Lindsay with the two months as well? Thank you for being so sweet as well, Lindsay. I love you, and I appreciate you. Thank you for the support as well. Um, hmm. Mm. Mm, not sure about this one. I'm thinking maybe like a fuller coat. Also, if we are going to send them off traveling soon. Okay, I really like that. I really like this. Wait, hold on. Right, let me take that off. And then in his everyday outfit, he had one of them with a pair of jeans on, which are these ones. And they've got like a little chain on the left side. I'm going to match them up so that he wears those jeans. And then I think this will be a look. A biker confirmed. Do we see him right? I can't see him riding a bike actually. <laughs> and then it had a chain on the left like that. Yeah, it had graffiti in it. Yeah, I kind of see that too. And then these in black like that. What do we think? Oh, did this? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. The, the um poll is currently running. Right, okay, so 96% of you guys have said take a gap year. 4% have go straight to uni and 0% have said something else. Um, if you guys do want to go ahead and vote on the poll on Twitch, go ahead and refresh the stream and it'll pop up right at the top of chat. And you can go ahead and refresh. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know. Lol, a little black Vespa. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, hold on. For one of the outfits, we did say that we were going to give him a, a beanie. Um, so let's go for that. See, that would be so good if the hair actually matched that one. Um, damn, I might even find a version of a hair that goes with this one that will like hide in there. <laughs> um, maybe, damn, I thought that one would work. Um, hmm. Is Reese the heir? He's not. But kind of making me wish he, he got picked, right? <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else a little sad that he's not the heir? <laughs> um, oh, damn. I need a hair that fits under this. His hair is too... Yeah, it's too voluminous. You're right. Okay, I think we'll have to just go for that. I mean, his ear does stick out, but we can ignore that bit. So we can go for this one. I would really like if there was little little hairs that stick out the bottom, you know? Why am I being so fussy? But please, I just want just a little tuft somewhere. Can I get anything? Not those. No, no. Damn. We're already having Leaf as Gen 2 in Whimsy. Lord help us if Reese becomes the heir to. It would actually be like <laughs> just us shrimping. <laughs> Every episode we're like. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. I really thought that hair was going to work. Damn it. I wish that one would work. Because at least in that way he, he has some hair hanging out. Hmm. <laughs> What about, no, literally none of them work. Okay, let's go for, let's go for this one, this hat off and a different hat on, a different beanie. Brimless, I think, will be in the beanie section. Um, That one's too high though. Oh, have I not got any other beanies? Let me take off the cold weather wear tag. Maybe that's why. Damn it. There's no other beanies. Can I ask who this is? I haven't seen any of the new series yet. This is Reese. He is my generation one's child. Um, he's not going to be the heir of generation two of the challenge, but we are going to be like very involved in our kids' lives, even if they're not going to be the heirs of the challenge. So he's kind of a very important character because we will be like playing with him Um when he moves out as well. So that's why we like so dedicated for the <laughs> makeover because he's very important. Um, 
none of these beanies are working. We might just have to, might just have to go with that one, which is still fine, but it just sort of sits a bit far back. It's fine, it's fine. And then he's got his voluminous hair in this one. Right, okay, guys, we are done with Reese's makeover. I think he's looking very, very good. I know we spent way too freaking long giving him a makeover, but I think he looks amazing. He looks really good. Um, but for Charlotte, I don't think I'm gonna spend too long on her makeover. I might do a little bit of the makeover and at least give her like some new outfits and then call it a day because I really wanna get into gameplay. Um, I really want to do the bakery opening day, otherwise we're never gonna get a chance to do it. So we'll do what we can for Charlotte and then we will, you know, uh, move on and then I can do it after stream um, and we can go from there. I think that's what we'll do for this one. As long as you guys agree. Set a timer. I don't I don't work well on time constraints. <laughs> I I can't. <laughs> I can't work the time constraints. Um I don't know if we're gonna keep a hair like this or we're gonna change it. I think I might change it just for a little while. Um I might go for something like that even. Just for now. Um I wanna do skin details first. So she had this skin on oh also i need to go ahead and customize her a little bit so when she was younger she had uh smaller lips i went ahead and made her lips a little bit smaller to make her look younger I'm trying to think of what else i did also her body as well um i changed her body to make her look younger because she had really wide hips so i'm just gonna widen her hips out a bit and give her a little bit more well actually i think the boobie is fine um can i see her without that yeah, she had quite wide hips and also like a really small waist. She had a very similar body shape to her mum. But obviously her mum has ha also had a lot of children in, you know, over time. So her body shape has also changed quite a lot. She's gotten older, but you, you see what I mean, like, right, with their very large hips and very small waist. Mama was blessed. <laughs> Lose, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. To lurk as I'm sorting out Amelia's That's okay. Ready for bed soon, but got you up in the background, hon. I'll be our being. No problem. Thank you so much, Tiff. Guys, welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, a goose raid. Oh my god, I, I love that. I literally love that emote so much. It's so cute. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome in. What did you get up to? What did you, what did you do in today's stream? Please let me know. I'm just in the middle of giving my sims a makeover um these are my children of my generation one one's sim does that make sense um so i've just gone ahead and finished up with reese he's just turned 19 he's a young adult so we've gone ahead and gave him a little makeover so here is how he's looking at his 19 year old self everyone is absolutely obsessed with him and shrimping over him you know how it is but we're moving on to his twin sister now charlotte <laughs> We're building a castle. <gasps> Was you using the new um, castle kit? The castle estate kit? It looks really good. I haven't had a chance to like properly look into it yet, but it looks really interesting actually. Um, Please make her boobs bigger. To be fair, I think they're the right size. I don't think they were much bigger than this. I think we're about the right size of what, what they should have been. I think we're back to where we should be for our body shape at least. Um, thank you guys, GM Scott, for the follow. Kelbug, Ash, um, and Life. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Welcome in as well. Been an amazing 31 months with the most amazing people. Oh, Thumper, Thumper, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Guys, can we get some love to chat for Thumper for 31 freaking months? Thank you, thank you. Yes, it was. It was so much fun. Um, but I've spent so much time on it that I'm always like, please be finished already. Honestly, taking on the task of building a castle, that is that is crazy. That is some serious dedication. I could never, but I respect it. <laughs> I seriously respect it. I bet it looks amazing. Actually, after stream, I'll have to pop in. Do you have your VOD shown on Twitch? Um, because I want to go and have a look. <laughs> because um I am not a builder. Um, but I can still appreciate a good <laughs> a good build. In fact, I appreciate building more so, I think, because I can't build. <gasps> yes, I'll have to go check. Um, what hair and eyelashes are those? This hair is by Arethea. Um, and the eyelashes, I believe, are by Miko. There's these ones. Which I might actually go ahead and change, but for now, I'll just leave them. Oh, thank you, Natalia. Wait, do you mean my background is in cast background or do you mean my background is in stream background? I want to know which one. 
Your sim is literally incredible also. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> um, okay, I do want to see if I can get her some contacts because I'm not really feeling my defaults for her today. She says she is not, but I'm sorry your builds were mentioned and you were asked to build Lauren just saying you're a good builder Aww, too. Aw, thanks Tim. You're so sweet. <laughs> Don't flatter me. Um, I feel like I'm better at interior decorating, to be honest, but building is not my forte. We'll say that. Mm, maybe like brighter eyes. Uh, we still want to keep the sort of greeny brown that she has in her eyes. That kind of looks like, I don't know, like she, like she died. Like that sounds bad. Um, maybe too bright, too bright. Hi, Miss J. I'm late. Sorry. Did I miss the bakery opening? No, you did not. You're joining at the perfect time. Actually, we're just in the middle of giving the kids a makeover and um, they aged up in the episode before the last one so we're just in the middle of yeah finishing up the makeovers uh, making them look more like their age and then we should be good um is charlotte gonna change back to brown hair or is she keeping the blonde hair oh she had red hair didn't she um i don't know for now i'm gonna leave her blonde since that's you know what she um what she dyed her hair to but yeah we might change it in the future um hmm they're too brown. So what color are her eyes? They're green mostly with a tiny hint of brown in the middle. I want to see if I can match them up to exactly what she has. Mm. I want to see. I like this picture. I feel like this picture definitely matches her. I can't see what ones those were though. Um, thank you, Miss J, with the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Miss J as well? And thank you to Bummer Bunny with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome in. Um, oh, I don't know. These are all like too dark. I love the blonde, by the way. Didn't mean that I don't like it. No, no, I understand. It's okay. <laughs> I really like the blonde on her as well. I think it really suits her. Um, okay, maybe one of these green eyes has brown in the middle. Okay, that has brown, but it might be, like, too brown. But I think I like it still. I think I would make it a little bit smaller. And just pull them down a little bit. Like that. Okay, how do we feel about those contacts? I think these are good. Where are these contacts from? They are all by um, Sims 3 Melancholic. They are my favorite contacts in game. They're the most like realistic in my opinion. Yeah, I think the face, um, I think the hair frames her face really well as well. But I just, I get on her just for now. So it doesn't have to stay. But naturally she has, um, naturally she has this colored hair, but less like orangey. We, ha we normally have like an, uh, uh, an overlay on her. So it's more of a muted color. But I think we're going to leave the blonde on her for now. I, I really like the blonde on her. <laughs> so happy to catch a stream. I love your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, mm. Now I kind of want to try some other hairs on her as well, though. Guys, guys, sorry. That looks amazing on her. Oh God, do I go with this one? Oh my God, she looks, you're not, no, no, not, no, no, not this fit. Don't worry, this is what she had as a teenager. Oh, we're just talking about hair right now. But I really like the waves on her. That looks so good. I really like that. Yes, I really like this too. Okay, hold on, we'll start again with makeup as well. There we go. Oh, queen. <laughs> okay, let's go for this. And then also, I think I want to start again with eyelashes as well. I'm thinking um, I gave her smaller eyelashes while she was younger. I'm thinking larger eyelashes now that she's older. I'm thinking maybe she goes out and gets like eyelash extensions and stuff like that, you know. Um, so I kind of like those, I think. They're very fluttery. <laughs> Come through, itches. <laughs> Okay, I think she looks amazing. I'm literally obsessed. 
Hi, Ease. Thank you so much for the tier one for two months. Thank you, thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for East Minis? Thank you so much for the tier, um, sorry, for the tier one for two months, baby. I love you and I appreciate you. And thank you for the support as well. I know, she even looks good without the eyelashes. And that is, that is crazy. Honestly, in The Sims, wild. Um, I do think I might want to change her eyebrows. How do we feel about this? How do we feel about going for a little, going for a little change in the eyebrows? I'll lurk while we pack toys away and get ready for bath and bed. No worries, so so. Um, let's see. Hmm. She why is why does she look like? Oh, excuse me. Why does she look so innocent all the time? Like in every single one of her eyebrows, she looks like I don't know. So sweet. <laughs> I kind of. You think in thicker brows? I don't mind those. I kind of like these on her. I kind of like the th thinner, but I do want to like, I don't know, get rid of that bit. So it's not as, why does it do that? I'm not sure. Does it need to come down? Why does, why do our eyebrows do that? <laughs> I literally, I can't even change them. Other than doing that, and that pulls them all the way up, which I don't want. Why do they do that? It's that natural look. It's not looking very natural. It's looking like she's like, hmm, like really sad. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Welcome in. How are you? Ugh. The thing is, I don't want to change her eyebrow shape completely, but I might have to. Okay, hold on. Let me just um let me just scalp her a second so I can work from here. So we wanted to go for more of that look. And then maybe we pull them down a little bit. Okay, what about that? That's not too far off of how they were before. I think that works fine. Um, Dover Queens and Avery um, Bright Lavender with the follows as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows and welcome in. I feel like thin ones make us look sad and the thicker don't. Let me try, let me, let me put the hair back on her so we can see what looks good and then we'll try the other ones. Hold on. Right, and then let me see the hair, the eyebrows. I would love for you to broadcast more often or longer. I can't catch you. Oh, please. if you ever want to watch the streams back, I know it's like not as, I know it's not as like the same, um, but I do also um, post my streams on YouTube. So if you ever want to watch them back in full, I know it's not always the same, you know. Um, oh, okay. Those kind of work. Hold on. And then we just bring them down a little bit. Maybe make them a little bit less angular than what they were. Like that. Okay, how do we feel about those? Or are they too thick? And also, I do kind of want to keep them on the redder side. Only because technically her natural hair colour is, like, red. So, I feel like she would, you know, I don't know if she would actually go to the extent of dyeing her eyebrows all the time. Oh, I will be streaming more often um, as of February onwards, though. Um, I'll probably be going up to four days a week of streaming. Um, back again from three um, only because I want to get through my series quicker. Um, and obviously I want to do the partner plus push as well. I feel like they're too bushy. She would have more snatched. Let's have a look at... That's why I was kind of leaning towards these. But okay, not those exactly. Um, what about... These ones are too light though. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, I mean, those aren't bad. I think these work. What do we think about these guys? And I'll just bring them down a little bit. And also she had them like, yeah, kind of like that. Are they better? Like these two? Yeah, I think so. 
Hi, Nessa. Welcome in. Um, oh my God, I'm late. What do I miss? We've just been giving the kids makeovers. Um, so yeah, we've just been doing that for now. Why is Charlotte missing a trait? We went ahead and cleared out my traits in the previous episode, but we do need to give her another trait to replace it. I'm pretty sure, guys, when we aged Charlotte up, didn't she get the clever trait? Was that the trait that we had to delete? Because we have another trait that, that we said would mean clever, but we needed to use that. Clever or smart. So I'm pretty sure we got rid of smart, didn't we? Oh, she had the smart trait. So, But didn't we say that we had the clever trait installed or something? That was the reason that we got rid of it. I can't find it though. Clever or smart? So it was a smart trait that I deleted, but I'm pretty sure we deleted it because I had clever. But I can't see clever. Nerdy? I, I see, I feel like nerdy and clever are slightly different though. I feel like nerdy is like, <laughs> you know, hold on, how does it describe, how does it describe nerdy? Nerdy is like they get focused when at the library and get bored when they haven't visited one of these in a long period of time. Whereas smart is like generally having a lot of, you know, smart. <laughs> Does this make sense? <laughs> Does this make sense? This is making no sense. Oh, clever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this, this is what we said we were going to keep. Yes. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I feel like nerdy and clever are different. I feel like nerdy's really like, I don't know, developing your... Um, intelligence whereas clever or smart I feel like it's just like a natural thing that you're kind of born with you know um I feel like you can work on being smart but I feel like some people have got it does that make sense been watching for days on youtube and finally come over to twitch where do I find the discord uh my mod t in chat just linked it so you can see the link underneath her name um you can go ahead and click on it and, and get the link there if you would like um okay now i'm not gonna lie i feel like charlotte would always have a beat face anyone else agree i feel like she would always have the like coolest look ever she's always gonna look snatched at every single um you know event or whatever happens so i kind of want to go for like really cool makeup yeah like beat yeah like beat face <laughs> um does she have her yeah okay so we have blush in there and then i also want to give her some highlight in this section too let's go for something like that i think so i'm not going to do a whole makeup look yet just because um Ooh. so before she had this lip overlay on only because this Mm, I kind of want to do like lip liner or something. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I normally have her have this lip overlay on, but that's just so that it doesn't look like she had lip filler when she was younger. Um, but now, doesn't mean that she doesn't have to have it, you know. <laughs> Maybe our girl went out for her nineteenth birthday and got a little, got a little something, something done. <laughs> Charlotte looks so good. Oh my God, she's so, I know. She's so grown up, isn't she? I know, I know. We're trying to be careful on time. I know. Um, I don't think any of these are going to work for her though. Is Charlotte a teen or an adult? She is a young adult now. Um... Okay, maybe like that, but smaller. Like that. Does that work? I feel like she would vlog all the time. Oh no, I completely agree. I completely agree. Okay, what do we think? I think that works for her. I think she would do makeup that doesn't like makeup. I kind of see her doing a lot of makeup, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to lie, but that maybe that's because we're going to have her get into like street, um, not streaming, but like social media and stuff like that. Um, and I feel like she would want to look good, you know, on her social medias. 
Hi, Cataly. Um, wait, is it is it Cataly? Hopefully, I'm getting that right. Let me know. And um, first time being in an actual live. Hi, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, right. What are we thinking for Charlotte? How how are we thinking the style is going to go? Also, we're not going to spend too much time. I think we're just going to do like one outfit just for Charlotte, and then we will yeah move on. Uh, just because we need to do the bakery opening. Um, it's very important that we do that. <laughs> In fact, let me just see. Train to pack, give you an exact time in a bit. Okay. She likes red and pink, so maybe a red dress. Do we feel like she would dress kind of like formally? Are we thinking like a sente outfit? Maybe rimmings? We've got rimmings too. No, I don't think we're going to keep the eye makeup. It's just for now. I, I think I want to go with a heavier look. Um, but that's... But I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I need to customize her outfit and then match it up to her outfit. Because it might be... If she goes with, like, a really sort of standout outfit, then we won't. Um, ooh. Okay, I really like these. Maybe something like this. Um, what colors? Is she? she said she likes pink, right? Maybe we go with a pink dress. Like that. Although it doesn't work with her hair, but I think maybe for this outfit, we go for hair back. Um, or we go for like a different hairstyle, whatever it is. Um, she's got like a side part with waves. Let me see if I can find a hair where it's like all pulled back or something. Yeah, like even something like that works. That's pretty. Some heeled boots, you think? And then... Do you have a page? Uh, do you have a page for all the gameplay mods you use? So I don't have like a specific page because I'm always like deleting or installing new mods like all the time. Um, but I do have a lot of videos on my channel. If you type in exclamation mark mods, which there's a link in chat that Sophia put in for you just under her name. Um, that is where all my mods videos are posted. I cover a lot of like mod reviews and a lot of those are mods that I use personally. So it might be best to have a look there. Um, so we're thinking like heeled boots for her. So let's see. Um, hmm. Not these. No, 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 no. Damn, is she pretty? I literally love her so much. I mean, I love all the kids, honestly. Um, I've already cheated and see what they all look when they grow up, so I literally love them all. <laughs> I'm a cheater, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what are we thinking for the boots? Do we go with that and then go with like leggings or something? I mean, I already told you guys I cheated. It's not like I cheated, but like lied about it. Like I already warned you all that I cheated. <laughs> In your opinion, who's the cutest of the kids? My, my personal favorite of who's the cutest is Ginger, but she has a cute face, you know? Like Charlotte has a very womanly, um, mature face. Whereas Ginger has a cutesy round, bubbly face does that make sense it's like a different sort of style so in terms of cuteness i feel like uh ginger is the cutest i know i know we still need to do the damn thing oh the opening maybe i should just leave and finish this up at another time i might just have to just like i don't know go for a i don't even know which tra what um things to go for though um oh i don't know which ones so difficult um i don't like being rushed <laughs> let's go for come on there's gotta be some i mean those are kind of cool too actually i do kind of like these okay they might work i don't know if i should leave them in this color or if i should go with them in like a more like something like that like a pinky that works okay this isn't what she's gonna look like guys okay this isn't like set in stone or anything it's just what we are thinking for her right now I need to do the rest of her um, outfits and everything and get like a better idea of her style. But just for now, I'm gonna go for this. Um, we'll also go for some lip gloss, but we'll turn it down a little bit. 
I think we'll go for something like that. Just for now. What are the rules for the Joy of Life Challenge? If you type in exclamation mark J-O-L, I believe it is, it'll give you a link to the rules um, and you can have a look. Yeah, okay, let's go for this one. I think this is good. And then we can come back and sort out all the rest of her outfits and everything. Um, but for now, I think she's looking really good. This is the idea of what I liked for her. Actually, does that, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me just check one thing. I just wanna know if her brother had the same eye color as her or if he had a different eye color. Oh no, he did have a different eye color. He had more of a bluey green. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's go. I literally love Charlotte so much. <laughs> Um, I randomly went back to watch your Whimsy Let's Play and Dawn's story has been wild so far. Wait, Alison, are you watching what happened to Dawn? Honestly, the start of Dawn's life was like so unexpected. Oh my God, Reese, who ate cat? Did you not see Reese? <laughs> Hi, Casey. I know. Streams and videos have helped oh, me a lot of rough times. Thank you so Lolly much. Lolly That's so sweet of you. Thanks for always being the best community. Lolly love Lolly. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you. Katie, I'm um, sorry, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Katie for the one whole year of subs? Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, also, I'm just gonna go and copy and paste like all of her hair and makeup to all of her other outfits Just so that she doesn't look like a completely different person in the rest of you know the, the outfits that she wears But guys Here is Charlotte. Here's one of her outfits. Why does she, she look so sad right now? I don't know why <laughs> Um, but here's what she's looking like look at her. Oh god. She looks so good. What about Reese? Oh my goodness Okay, guys the makeovers they went so well. I'm so proud of us <laughs> Okay, right. I am just going to send everyone off to bed. Actually, no, no. We'll do um, we'll do some food. I'll have um, Neve come in and come and make some dinner for everyone. I know it's quite late, but obviously everyone did just finish up at the funeral. I, I feel bad, like you know, sending everybody to bed without food. Um, uh, we will just make a quick like vegetable dish. Um, let's see if we've got any like pasta or something that we could whip together really quick. Um. Yeah, I think spaghetti, a risotto takes ages to cook. I've learned that from making my HelloFresh. I love risotto, um, but it is a commitment to make. Um, let's do a party side serving of spaghetti. She is looking buff. I know, honestly, Charlotte doing her workouts in her bedroom. Like, you would have you would have really thought, you would have really thought. <laughs> Hi, Evan. Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, save. Yep, let me go ahead and... Oh, I'd be really sad if we missed all of this. Um, did you move house? No, no, we still live in the same place. Uh, do you mean, wait, do you mean me in real life? Do you mean like, is this different? This is, this is the same, I just decorated it. But if you mean in Sims, no, we're still living in the same place. Oh my God, look at Charlotte, queen. Oh, she looks so good, literally love her. Um, did it save? Yeah. Um, how does your game always generate naturally stunning sims? Mine are always questionable. I use some settings in MCC so that the only sims the game generates are good looking ones, which you really need. Um, if you guys want to know how to only have cute sims generate and not like the ugly kind with a bunch of like random CC. Um, if you go to my TikTok, um, I've got a video on there, which is uh realistic mods for the sims 4 that you need part one is my first ever tiktok that i made on that channel it currently has 600 000 views which is crazy by the way um but that is the yeah that's the one you need to look at oh also i don't know if i remember telling you guys i don't know if we was looking at this but neve is currently going through her perimenopause which means that there's like changes in her body body obviously we know that she was going through her menopause you know Oh my god, Nessa, you're making spaghetti right now. I'm gonna make teriyaki salmon rice bowl for dinner. I have a, I have my HelloFresh teriyaki salmon rice bowl. It's gonna be so good. Um, Kita, thank you for the follow. And Diana, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome in. Um, also, thank you to Soul with the Prime stuff for seven months. I'm so sorry I missed that one earlier. Thank you so much as well. Um, and everybody else that followed was a bowl of cow salad. Bad Kitty, Mikey um Catalie, uh so bright uh sob so bright to you all oh that's definitely butchered i'm so sorry um dover queens and avery bright lavender thank you guys so much for the follows welcome in as well damn we're nearing another twitch baby sorry, <gasps> oh my god join recently cause of work 
That's okay, okay don't worry. Be here soon. Oh, I appreciate you so much, HLab. Thank you so much. Thank you for 16 months as well. That is wild, by the way. Um, okay, everyone, come grab some food. Um, eat a serving. Oh, no, don't, wicked, don't, don't. <laughs> Why is this family always trying to do some wicked stuff on the spaghetti and the food? <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> Okay, come grab some. Come and grab some. Everyone can come sit down and eat together as well. There we go. We can have a nice family dinner. It's going to be cute. Don't wicked. Like, all the family, like, trying to get it on on the bloody spaghetti. No thanks. I'm good. <laughs> I'll also clean up a little bit as well. Bro, honestly, HelloFresh needs to sponsor you. Nessa, actually, um, I've already been sponsored by HelloFresh before. Um, I, I've been sponsored by them once, I think, once or twice. I'm pretty sure. Oh, is she coming over to chat with her? What's she talking about? Talking about the cloudy weather. Oh my God, look at Charlotte right now. She is just, oh, she is an icon, guys. She really is. Share knowledge of cooking. Wait, I love that. I wonder if she's asking her if she likes the sp spaghetti. That's so cute. I know, the glass of wine. Should I clean it up? Or should I have a drink here? <laughs> I'll, th I'll go throw it away. It's fine. Oh my god. Did that really just break? Whatever. I'll replace it. We've got enough money. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. I'm going to send everyone off to bed because we have the bakery opening day tomorrow. It's very important. That everyone gets a good amount of sleep. So come use the toilet. Come and get some sleep. Um. Once you've finished eating, um, come and take a shower and then go head off to sleep. Charlotte. Um, you can do the same and so can the kitties. You go to sleep. I think Ginger can just go to sleep as well. Yeah, I'm really excited to run the bakery. I'm hoping that everything works okay. I do have a mod installed that should like, work, you know, like change the way that the bakery runs. It should make it run more efficiently and better, but I'm hoping that it's updated because I don't know if it's actually been updated yet. So imagine I'm like, guys, bakery opening day episode and the bloody mod like breaks the whole game. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Please don't let that happen. Um, oh, practice programming from liking. Oh my God, guys, we might be able to find um, Emiliano a job. He wants to do programming. What if we get him into programming? Oh my God, tomorrow morning, he's going to stop programming. I've decided that he says he wants to. That's good enough for me. I, I take anything. Okay. Yes, <laughs> finally getting him a job. So he doesn't just have to sit around and be sad all the time. Oh my God, I can see Ginger opening a bakery in the cove to give everyone a taste of Italy. It would be so cute, honestly. Although I, we don't know what we want to do for Ginger yet. I think I do want her to go traveling and like learn different cultures, foods. I feel like that would be really good for her. So I do want her to travel quite a lot. Um, Like maybe as a teenager or something. Um, Save reminder for Chelsea. Thank you so much. A job at 60? Actually, I think he's like 50. I think he's like middle 50s. Like, yeah, I think mid middle of his 50s. I'll have a look. Hold on. Um, He's like 56, probably. 56, 57. Um, so yeah, nearly 60. <laughs> All right, Graham, come downstairs. Come and take a quick shower. Come use the toilet. And obviously, um, this baby is our little uh, gamer. Um, so I might have him just go and sit and play some video games, which honestly sounds like an amazing Thursday. Although he does have summer camp. Um, but I'm going to have him go and play games. Uh, go and play. Oh, enter novice. Oh, that's so cool. Play Sim Scuffle. I want Sims to sit in my bakery, but I refuse to buy his dine out. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if Sims do sit at the bakeries. Like if you use the um the get to work uh the get to work um pack which is i think is what we're gonna use so that you can have um is that, wait guys what pack did it so that you can own retail stores was it get to work i think it was oh okay guys we have about 35 minutes which is enough to do a bakery opening day i'm thinking as long as we get through everything nice and quickly so let's go ahead and plan it Right, today is the official day of the bakery opening day. I'm going to wake her up now. I know she's really tired, but we've got to get to work now. So it is a retail grand opening, the launch of our retail store, which is technically a bakery. Um, it's not going to be a restaurant grand opening. So we are doing a retail grand opening. We're going to make it a gold event. And if we do well, 
we can get a first only a memorable sign oh memorable a come by now shop here sign or a little button chalk sign lovely yes we'll take a reward if we do well uh the retail owner is of course our baby neve and we will be doing it at um we need tartosa and it is neve's sweet treats oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> Right, let's do the bakery opening for 11 o'clock because we've still got to make up a bunch of foods to serve. I know we've already got some foods, but we definitely don't have all of them. So I'll do 11. That should give us enough time to go there, like get some food made and then just get everything sorted. Also, it's going to be really stressful because Neve is the only one um, who's working there right now, which I think I might actually have her ask... Um, I don't know who could help. Maybe we can have Ginger come and help her run the bakery um and have her like take the day off of uh camp you know to help her and maybe charlotte too then that'll be good for them to be honest um okay 100 smolians is gonna cost us all right let's go neve we need to get you down to the bakery as soon as possible so proud of neve i know me too i was like excited we've literally had this bakery decorated for like 10 episodes and we still haven't done it yet okay let's get her ready we all know Neve deserved this more than anyone. She has worked so freaking hard and her upbringing that she's had is just like, it's been awful. So I'm just, I'm happy. She deserves everything. She's looking happy as well. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for, um, we're gonna go for her bakery outfit. I think that'll be good um, to get her <laughs> starting and getting baked. There we go. Okay, she's looking cute, ready for her bakery opening day. Let us go go also we're gonna bring ginger with us um i think ginger's just grabbing some breakfast though oh my god look how cute she looks in a little pink like like nicey that's so cute um yeah i'm gonna bring her with us and have her take the day off of camp today mm -mm -mm. do you think reese will do a flyer or a painting as a present for her wait cozy i love that Oh my god, maybe for when they get back from the bakery, we should have Reese like a painted something for her. That would be so cute. I love that for her. Ah, uh, thank you, Jojo, for joining in. I'm happy to have you here, anyways. <laughs> um, okay, right. So, the bakery. This is what it's looking like. In case you guys haven't seen it, we renovated it like episodes and episodes ago now, so it was quite a while ago. Here is what she is looking like. It's not fully done yet. We was going to wait for some more money until we finished it completely. But it is more than well enough and equipped enough for us to actually um, get the day started and the opening, everything. We also have some stuff already served out. Um, these are technically not real foods. Does that make sense? Like these are just like buyable plates of food only because otherwise I would have to prepare so many different like, you know, lots of food to be able to serve. So like these cakes, these are all just like ones that I've downloaded like custom cakes to serve and you just serve the whole thing. But it's like the easiest way to do it to fill up some of these spaces. So the empty space is like these ones and these ones here and obviously all of these along here. These are all going to be filled with actual food that we make. Um, it was just, you know, it would like there'd be too much otherwise. <laughs> So I'm going to have her go straight upstairs into the um, bakery. I'm um, oh, sorry, into the, the kitchen and get some foods made. I'm actually going to see if we already have any foods ready. Because I swear we did this a while ago where I came here and made them. Um, yes, I do. Okay, so we have a rustic pink floral cake. Um, let's do that. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my God. Yes, that is amazing. Okay, we'll do that one now. Um, we will do, oh, those are really cute. Those in there. And we'll do that in there as well. And then I'm also going to set these for sale. 271, that's pretty good. Um, fulfill order, two grand, no. Set for sale, two grand for these things. Oh my God. Sakura Petit Fours. Petit Fours, whatever it says. Um, and then the cake is going to be 903 simoleons. Pretty damn good. All right, let's go upstairs and let's uh, make some more. I think I want to make another cake to go next to this cake here. And then obviously another two to go there. That'll be good. Um, Right. So I want to make, bake a wedding cake, maybe? Um, Oh, cherry blossom cake. Oh my God, these look amazing. 
Um, oh my god, I don't know which one to make. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for that cherry blossom cake. It looks incredible, actually. Let's do this. Can Ginger help? Well, Ginger's going to be helping, like, to restock the things and, and get everything sorted like that. Um, I don't know if she can actually come here and, like, help cook. Maybe she can. I don't know. For now, I'll have her come sit and make herself look cute. <laughs> Oh my god, a special grand opening cake. That would be so cute. Should we have her make one? I wonder if we can like, you know the wedding cakes that you do? Oh wait, is she supposed to be going off to her camp? Oh, she is. Yeah, I want her to call into camp today and say that she's not going. Um, Where is that? Business? How do I have her call to camp and say she's not going today? I mean, technically I can just like, just not send her in, right? I think so. I think she'll just get away with not going. She'll be fine. She's there to increase the sales. I mean, look at her. She's looking very cute. I'm sure she'll do lots of increasing the sales. Oh my goodness, baby. You are stretched. She's making herself a coffee too. She's like, mom, I think you really need this coffee right now. Oh my God, she literally give it. Oh my God, she literally gave her mom a coffee. Oh my God, that's so cute. No, I'm sorry. Did you just see that? No, that is literally the sweetest thing ever. Okay, go grab yourself a drink, babes. That was so cute. Oh, I can't believe she gave her a coffee. See, she's being so useful. <laughs> Um, Kima, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I didn't know it was possible either. Like, I had no idea. Um, make sure you continue cooking. No, 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 no. Don't leave it in the oven and burn it. No, 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 no. No, Ginger, please. <laughs> Don't distract me. Don't distract me from my cake. Oh, my God. Please. Please. Why is she leaving? Oh, my God. Stop drinking the coffee. Neve, put the damn coffee down before this cake burns. Okay, she's, she's back to it, I think. I think she's supposed to be still cooking, yeah. I'm actually growing on her being the heir. Wait, was you not sure about her being the heir? Oh no, she is still cooking it. Oh my God. Oh, okay, this is the bakery opening day cake. This is, this is it. This, this is the one. This is her. <laughs> In fact, I kind of want to add a wedding topper to it. And like pick a special topper to go on it. I wonder if we can pick something that doesn't actually look like a wedding topper. And we could talk like it could be like the topper for the bakery day or something. Oh, damn. No, I wanted to pick my own. How do you pick your own? No, no, remove this one. Guys, can you stop? We literally have like two seconds until the bakery opens. And we've not made anything. <laughs> Please. Okay, is there a way that I can pick the bakery topper? How do you do that? Does anyone know how you buy the, the topper for it or like change it? I don't even know where the down topper went. I can't even see an inventory. Something tells me that cake won't fit in the display. You know, something's telling me that too. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's fine, right? <laughs> um, okay, for today. <laughs> For today, I'm just going to go and um, I'll just put that there. And this will just go there for today, okay? <laughs> that works better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, should I actually sell the bakery opening day cake or is it like a display cake? What do we think? How much can I sell it for? I can sell it for 1,200 simoleons. Do I leave it as like a special display one or sell it? You sell it, you think? Yeah? Okay, I'll sell it. Set for sale. Right, that's going to be sold. Let's make another cake a bit smaller than this one to go next to that cake. Um, I kind of want them to make it together. Can I do that? Cook together. Um, I'm going to cook a dessert. Bake cakes with ginger. Um, and we will just make nothing crazy. Um, red velvet heart cake. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, triple, oh, triple chocolate mousse cake. That sounds good. Yeah, let's make that. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, I think that's better. You know what? Let's take it off display for today. And then it's just going to be a display cake just for today. But then maybe next time we run the bakery, I will break it up into all the individual slices and I'll sell the slices individually. I think that'll be better to do. For now, it's just a nice pretty cake for the opening day, you know? Can we please? Baby, get on with it. We literally are about to open in like an hour, please. Ginger, you too, you need to help, okay? <laughs> please start helping. 
Oh, she's she's helping. Oh, she is helping, guys. Look. Oh god, it's going it's going awfully right now. We need a bit more practice with this one, don't we, Ginger? <laughs> oh, thank you. You look stunning today. That's so sweet. Also, welcome in, Liv uh, Liv Livara. Oh, hopefully, I'm getting that right. Please let me know. Or make two, one for display and one for sale. Yeah, I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? Um, what, what did that say? Oh, it said that the... Oh, are you okay? Oh, God. Um, it said that the uh, the event is about to start in an hour, so we need to be, like, quick. We need to do quick. Okay, what is she doing? Why has she got two frying pans, though? That's my question. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> is she, like, steaming something over something else, maybe? Ginger, you're being very helpful over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're doing so good. She said, I give up. I'm getting a drink, mum. <laughs> I tried to help, mum. Oh, it's oh, it's done. No, she took... Okay, listen. A best, the best baker always tastes their own food, right, guys? Right. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. That cake is so much smaller. I think I'm going to move it over to this section. Um. All right, let's do... Maybe it goes in this one instead. Um, let's do it there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, set for sale. Set for sale, let's do it. Right, so, gonna have a look. Set store prices, we won. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave it as a 25% markup today. Um, just because um, that's the normal amount. Actually, okay, because it's our first day, I know it's gonna sound a bit weird, but I'm gonna go for a 15% markup. Only because... I think that, you know, it's like the first day. I don't want to, you know, like have really expensive prices that people don't want to come in. It's the first day that she's about to open this bakery. So I think it's just best we go for something a little bit, a little bit cheaper. And I also want to see, um, transfer employee uniforms. Oh, I should have really given her a uniform, shouldn't I? Um, purchase advertising. Yeah, I am going to do a um, short term web campaign just for today just so that people know that we are you know um that we're opening today so we'll make sure that that's in place as well so we get more customers and um it is time to open the store let's go do it it is officially open i think right i think so here we go i think it's open can she could she reach it let me see if she can even get in here Neve has experienced menopause and will no longer experience a menstrual cycle or get pregnant. Woo! No more protection. <laughs> I no longer have to be careful when I have the woohoo. Thank God. <laughs> okay, and now open the store. Okay, I'm gonna guess the store is now officially open. I hope we'll see some people turn up. We'll just wait. Is this your own store? It is. It is my own store. Where is everyone? guys <laughs> the opening day is looking a little rough okay <laughs> everything's fine maybe the mod it could be that the mod that i have installed isn't working okay it could also be that could also be that no, no one's no one's gonna go <gasps> what about you lucia lucia bestie surely sure no no <sighs> oh god guys <laughs> It's definitely open, right? The store's <laughs> the store's definitely open. Something makes me think that the store's just not opening, you know? Something Oh, check the business tab. Um Retail. Oh, open. Here we go. There we go. We're officially open. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Okay, we're we're doing it now. We're doing it. Now it's open. Now everyone's gonna start turning up. You just you just wait. You just wait. Everyone's gonna start coming here everyone oh we have our first customer oh here we go here we go come on in come on inside come and greet everyone come and greet them oh my god where can i find that build it's so pretty i actually like used the shell um it was supposed to be like a retail store or something i think and then we went ahead and customized it um so this is actually um what i had built oh is he buying anything no no, no. come stand here no, no, you need to, you need to come down, stand downstairs. Right, really quick. I'm just going to like lock her in here just so that um, she can't get in and out. So I'm just going to lock it for everyone for now. 
That's just so that she stands there and, she, you know, she does what she needs to do. Um, also, get changed into um, your bakery outfit. Okay. Surely he's going to buy something, right? Surely. Greet customer. Oh, I need to go greet people. Oh, she can greet them from over here. Oh, no, she can't. Okay, hold on. <laughs> well, I just have to unlock this then, why not? Right, go greet the customer. Hi, welcome to the store. And also lock this for everyone but employees. Everyone but employees. Hi, welcome in. I don't think she likes him. Oh, he's just window shopping. This customer is just looking around. Let them know about your merchandise to get them interested in buying. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is way more experience. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I have some money? <laughs> that was a question that she could have asked. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Discuss shopping preferences. Are you looking for anything in particular, maybe? Also, just give us your money. <laughs> That's so weird. He's still just window shopping. Can I not, like, talk to him about, like, what's going on? What about this lady? Valerie? Hi, Valerie. Welcome in. Um... Go greet her. I need a money emote ASAP. I think I have a money emote, don't I? Don't I have something like that? I think Charlotte is convincing them to buy something. What do we think? Have Sims drink at the same time. Oh my God, toast to grand opening. Oh my God, I didn't grab the toasting thing. Oh, I should have grabbed that. Oh no, I need to grab that. Hold on. Um, Does anyone remember what that was called? It's not called champagne. Is it called like toast? No, bucket. It's a bucket, isn't it? Have Ginger play the the violin. Surely that'll attract customers. I feel like you're trying to ruin our opening day, okay? <laughs> With these suggestions. Hi, Rayuna. Welcome in. How you doing? Not Ginger trying to help securing the client. Air behavior. <laughs> Where do you get the aprons and baking clothes? The, this, act, this outfit actually came with um, the stuff pack. The home chef hustle stuff pack. Um, so you can just get it as long as you've got that one. Okay, I'm gonna grab a celebration bucket. Um, I will put it. Um, oh, now I don't really know where to put it. Um, well, um, I'm actually going to put it here and I'm gonna cut this cake up into portions and start selling all the portions because apparently Hi. this isn't going I very well. Been able to watch a stream we forever because work has been so crazy busy. Oh, Jazzy! Thank so you! Finally be able to watch again. Oh, I love oh, you so my. much. Thank you so much for the support, sweets. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, right. Um, uh, We managed to grab all the servings of this cake. So we can just go ahead and get some of them on display. Um, So we'll do one. Oh my God, these are so pretty! Oh my God. The okay, these, sorry, these are really cute. Um, one, two, three. We'll do some in there. And then I'll also put some in the fridge as well, just so that they don't look as empty. <laughs> and then make sure that we set all the individual portions for sale. Um, we've got Charlotte doing all of this, by the way. So she's being very, very helpful. Um, set these for sale. And the same for these cake slices. Why was that one worth less? That one was only 80, 83 simoleons worth. What is this? Oh my god, look at all the customers coming in. Hi, look who this is, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Thanks for coming in. Oh my god, I need to say I need to say thank you. Um ask customers to leave. No, can we can we say hello? Answer any questions she has. Hi everyone, welcome in. Oh my god, I think Charlotte's like bribing the other little kids. Who's this? Ayana. Um Ayana, say hello. Um affection. No, no, give her a interest talk to her about her interests what choice what value i'm ready to buy when you have a chance to ring me up oh my god we have a purchase guys 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 we have a purchase ring up customer here we go our very very first customer someone bought something oh my god i'm so proud it only took four hours <laughs> we only took four hours oh god Oh, 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 yes, yes, Ginger, convince her to buy something. Yes, Ginger, get it, get it. Talk to her about some hobbies, there you go. <gasps> Look at her, wait, what did he buy? Oh my God, I love this. This is so cool. Look at her. Oh my God, I can't believe somebody bought something. I'm so proud. 
Bumble, thank you so much for the 27 months as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Bumble as well, please? Okay, is this really how long it takes to like... Is that really how long? Did he even buy something? What did he buy? Oh, we bought that. Oh my God. He bought that chocolate mousse cake. Oh my God, guys. Guys, it's it's happening. Oh my God, we rung up our first customer. I'm so proud. Oh, I'm so proud of us. Good job. Okay, you go use the toilet and then I'll come back out and I'm gonna give a toast as well to everyone because we're very proud and we just, we just had our first customer. Oh my God, we have another one. Okay, never mind. We'll toast later. We'll toast later. It's more important that we ring out our customers. We need to make as much money as possible. <laughs> Wait, can Ginger do it? I wonder if Ginger, Ginger, you're making a mess outside. I wonder if Ginger can ring them up. No, I don't think she can. No, she can't. Damn it. Quick, finish going a pee so we can go make money. <laughs> um, Relang, thank you so much for the sub on YouTube. Welcome in. And also thank you to Yiz, Yuri, Paper Planes, Angie and Kima with the follows as well. Thank you guys so much. Welcome in. Okay, go and get him rung up. I don't know what he wants to buy yet, though. <gasps> yes, Temper. Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm just checking what time I need to leave. Okay, we're good on time. We're fine on time for now. Okay, what's he going to buy? I want to know. Also, Neve's getting really hungry. I might have her just go grab a quick snack. How long have we got left of the opening day? Three hours left. Uh, she's gonna go eat some chocolate mousse. Oh my god, another customer! Oh my god, guys, we're making money! Wait, where's Reese's friend? Which one is Reese's friend? Oh yeah, it is! Oh my god, Demarcus! I completely forgot that that was Reese's friend. Oh my god, yeah, he is, isn't he? Okay, you go um, just grab a quick snack upstairs since she's like really hungry. Um, okay, grab a snack. Um, just grab an appetizer, I think. No, no, like, I mean, like, a quick meal. I mean, a quick, quick meal. Um, have a quick meal. Grab some, um, berry smoothie bowl. Yeah, that'll do. Anything, really, actually. Yeah, you're right, we do need, should we hire an employee tomorrow? What do we think? Should we get our first employee? I think me and, sh me and, um, Ginger, we're not enough. And this lady, no, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Go downstairs with your food. You can, you can, you can bring her up and eat at the same time, right? That's really professional, right? No, is she leaving? No, she, she doesn't want to buy it anymore. No, that's so sad. That is so sad. Oh my God, no. What do you mean, Tommy? No, what do you mean? Okay, retail, I'll answer some questions for her. Yeah, I definitely do need to hire some people. Okay, stop eating now. Stop eating. She can't do both at the same time. She can't talk to the customers. Why is she so angry? Tommy, babes. I'm trying to help you. Oh my God, that's scary. Come on. She doesn't want to buy anything? Tommy, out of everyone, I really expected the best of you. I really did. Okay, I want to ask about price range. Oh my God, we have another customer. <gasps> Ring up customer, let's go, let's go. Stop eating the food. Neve, Neve, please stop. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to bring Emiliano over guys because this opening day is getting hectic. <laughs> okay, Ginger, can you talk to these kiddos? Ayana? Play make-believe with her and then say hello to Anton. He's a loiterer. He's not going to buy anything then. Um, I am Shadow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. One to help the cleaning and the other to help customers pay. Yeah, we, we need everyone to start working. Oh, what's this guy going to buy? Good choice. Good choice. Cherry blossom cake. I like that. Oh my god, Tommy decided. Yes, Tommy. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's get her. Oh my God, who's this? Jeremy Savare. Okay, he's not buying anything, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to him. Stanley, though, I'll talk to Stanley. Greet him. Yeah, I can see Emiliano helping, and then like, oh my God, programming. He could like take up a table and start programming. That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? 
Okay, let's ring this guy up and then let's say hello to this lady. Um, she's a socializer. I'll say hello to her anyways, just in case. Loiterer. Valerie was a customer though. I wonder if I can convince her to buy something. <gasps> Ginger is the physical embodiment of good manners. She has successfully absorbed all there is to know about how to be polite and gracious in when she is older. Oh, that's so good. Good for her. Very proud. I know. This is such a cute bakery, right? I love it. All right. Did you, did you say hello to these guys? Who else have we got who's actually going to buy something? You're a loiterer. You're a customer. German, he's worth talking to. But you. Otis, yep, he's worth talking to too. And um, so is Isabel. Let's say hello to everyone. I'm surprised the whole family isn't there for the opening. I think obviously, well, Graham's there. I, you know what? I can bring Emiliano here to help. Um, as long as he's wearing some trousers. I am going to get rid of his sad buff now because I did have that cheated so that he'd be sad about his parents dying. Um, but for today, he can he can get rid of it. I'm also going to have him wear... Um, I'm going to have him wear a nice fancy outfit today for the grand opening. I'll have him wear something nice. Um, I'll have him come in and help. Um, customer, come and, can he greet the customers too? Oh, he can. Great. Emiliano is always naked and sad. <laughs> Oh, we do need to have the toast. We need to we need to do the toast. I think I want to do I want to have Emiliano do the actually. Let me have Neve do the toast. Let's have her do it first. Emiliano said he needs to be naked for more sales. Oh my god, we got a gold medal. You did so good. The grand opening went fantastic and visitors have left you some retail license for your new business to wish you good luck in the future. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, let's have her do a toast. Here we go. Toast to the first day of the bakery being open. So proud of her. Oh, this is so cute. Is everyone going to toast to us as well? I hope so. Yeah, look at all of our customers toasting to us. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, you're all so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Emiliano, yeah, of course you got the alcohol out. Not surprised, honestly. Not surprised. <laughs> uh, being showered with compliments and attention makes any momentous day even brighter. That's so cute. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, guys, we did a very, very good opening day. I'm very proud of us. Um, it is half seven though, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and close up the bakery. I think we did a very, very good opening day. We don't wanna... We don't want to bite off more than we can chew. And we definitely need to get some employees because poor Neve, she ran around and we made 2,500 Smolians profit, but um, we are not going to be able to continue this in the future. Okay, we, we need to have some employees. So I'm just going to go ahead and close up. Uh, we didn't have to pay any wages because we have no employees yet. And we was open for eight hours in total, it said. So we did pretty good. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you so much. See you later. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, wasn't this so cute and wholesome? I literally love this. The more business points you earn, you can spend them on perks to speed things up and make things more efficient so you no longer have to chat every person up to make them purchase. <gasps> really? I did not know that. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, yeah, the perk points. Play card, my first Somalian. Unlocks a decorative wall that celebrates the store's initial success. Check the retail items section of build mode. Oh, my God, wait! Hold on, I didn't want to put this up. Wait, hold on, I'm so excited. Uh, I was so excited. Right, retail items. My first Somalian. Oh, my God, and she can have it framed. Oh, my God, that is literally the cutest thing ever. Um. Oh, where should we put this? time since I could be here at a live. I hope I'm remembered. Oh, Vicky, thank you so much. Thank you, sweetie. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's go for this one. There we go, guys. This was our very first simoleon that we earned from our bakery. I'm so proud of us. We finally did the open day. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god. Isn't it so cute? I literally love it so much. I really want um Emiliano to like congratulate her as well and just give her like a nice big hug um we'll do some affection we'll give her a nice hug and say that we're very proud of her oh yeah we do we in our family inventory I think we have some stuff as well or is it in her actual inventory no it is our family inventory oh they are so cute I literally love them so much oh my babies my babies 
right, guys, I am gonna have to go ahead and run um, because I have been live for a little bit longer than I was uh, expecting, but we did do a lot of uh, makeovers. But in the next episode on Sunday, um, I believe we are taking the family away for a holiday. I don't know if we're gonna go skiing or what we're gonna do yet. I'm not really too sure. She's really tired, honestly. We need to have her go to bed. Um, but yeah, I think in the next episode, we're definitely gonna go away on holiday or at least we'll get set to go on holiday. And I believe it will also be the kids' birthdays in the next episode. So it's gonna be very, very, very fun. So I can't wait to see you all on Sunday. If you can make it, I'll be streaming at 8 p.m. GMT, but I'm also live tomorrow with the Whimsy Stories Challenge at 4 p.m. GMT, the same time as today. So if you guys are around tomorrow evening, then come and join me. Um, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me for today's episode. I love you all so much and I will speak to you in the next one. If you wanna go ahead and leave a like on today's video, subscribe down below if you are new and you get notified every single time I go live or um, upload a video on this channel. And I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you in the next episode of the Joy of Life Challenge. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.